everybody. Welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a summer homeschool haul. So I'm gonna be sharing all of the things that I purchased with the intention of making our summer super fun, but also educational. Now, the first few things that I purchased are things that I purchase every year. Typically, they become Emily's like last day of school gift as part of our kickoff to summer, but it's things I would have probably bought anyway. I will link her last day of school gift basket up here in case you missed it. The first thing is this daily summer activity book. So it covers things like reading, math, spelling, critical thinking, and geography. It will literally just be one page a day for her. So it's just gonna help prevent that summer slide to make sure we're not losing the things that we already learned, but it also is not going to prevent present any new information. As far as the basics go, I really try to keep our summers more review versus introducing new concepts. I also always purchase a fun book series for Emily, something I may or may not have bought for her otherwise. And this year, that book series was The Last Kids on Earth. Um, she started watching the series on Netflix and really enjoyed it and kind of wanted to know more about it. So she's already about halfway through the first one and she can't wait to dig into these this summer. I'm sure she's gonna read through them super fast. And then I also got some games and activities for us to enjoy in the pool because we love pool schooling. It is Florida. You cannot be outside unless you are in water. So the first one is this ring rush game. We actually already played this this past weekend and had a blast with it. So it includes 20 different rings. You throw them into the pool and then you race to try to basically create whatever's on this card. So you would have to have these on one hand and these on the other. And whoever does that first gets a point. Whoever gets to five points first is the winner. It was a really fun game. Emily is very, very good at it. Then we also got this Seek and Splash number dive game. So basically the cards have a number on them and you're diving for numbers that you could create an equation that make that number. So for example, if it's 16, you could find two fours and four times four is 16 or like a 10 and a six. Actually, that would be a one, a zero, and a six. But anyway, you need to form some sort of equation that would create that number on the card. And then we also got the Guess in 10 Splash Animal Edition. We love playing these Guess in 10 over dinner as a family. And so I thought it would be fun to have a pack that we didn't have to worry about getting, you know, wet or ruining. And the animal, of course, is Emily's favorite anyway. So this was a no brainer win. And then the last kind of pool school game that I purchased is this Aqua Bingo, the Amazing Animal Edition. So there are a couple of different ways to play. There's game one and two, but you basically have all of these like animal bingo chips that you throw because they sink and you dive in to get them and you fill out your bingo card. Again, it was animals, so it was no brainer. Now, everything else that I purchased was with the intention of like really just making our unit studies this summer as amazing as possible. The majority of which I purchased for our spy school because Emily is like hands down all into that and that's gonna be what we do for the bulk of the summer. And that all goes along with our brand new unit study, Spy Academy, which is the top secret world of espionage. I shared about that earlier this week. I'll link it up here in case you missed it. We cannot wait to dive into it. It is going to be amazing. But most of this stuff was purchased just to really kind of like enrich that study. Again, none of this is required for it though because that study is all encompassing. So the first thing I have is spy Mad Libs so that we can get a little grammar practice in while we're spying. I also grabbed the Spy School book series. I think this is probably what I'm going to read aloud with Emily over the summer, more than likely, unless we read one and she ends up rushing ahead of me, which is, could totally happen. And then for her independent reading, I got a bunch of like the you choose your own adventure types of books because she loves those. So the first ones I got are the choose your own adventure. This was a um, collection that you purchased all together. So we have 
Cleopatra, James Armistat Lafayette, Mary Bowser, Harry Houdini, Matahari, and Noor Inyat Khan. And yes, I probably butchered that name. And then I also got her the You Choose series. Now, this is one of the sets I was most excited about because it's Spies Through the American Revolution, Spies Through the Civil War, Spies Through World War I, and Spies Through World War II. And in the Spy Academy unit study that I wrote, I specifically wrote about five historical espionage evolutions through the American Revolution, World War I, World War II, the Civil War, and the Cold War, because I really wanted to kind of see how espionage had evolved over the years, and I wanted to expose and lay to five major wars throughout history in a way that was more fun, or at least brought some fun to them. So I loved that this book series tied in to four of the five wars. Do I wish there was Cold War? Absolutely, but it's four of the five, so I was really excited about that. Then I also grabbed the Spy on History series for the same reason, because this covers three of those five wars as well. These books actually include like a little spy craft thing, so like an activity, and this one is Anna's, Anna Strong and the Revolutionary War, Culper Spiring. Then we have Mary Bowser and the Civil War Spiring. And last we have Victor Dowd and the World War II Ghost Army. Now I will say, as much as I like these, Emily immediately looked at the cover and was like, mm, those might be a little childish. So hoping she'll read them anyway, but I know for sure the other two series are a hit. Like she's going to read those like crazy. Okay. And then I got some games, of course, because it wouldn't be us if we didn't. One is Deducto, a quacking deduction game. This is a game, right game. We love all the games by them. It is for two to four players and ages eight plus. I have break the code. So you create some sort of number code and you're trying to break each other's code. It looks a lot like Mastermind, but with numbers instead of um, the different colors. This is for two to four players and ages 10 up. Code name pictures. Uh, we have a lot of the other different types of code names like duet. So just two people could play. We have the Disney version, but I thought pictures would be a fun addition. This is two to eight players, ages 10 up. Spy Connection. One of the things I loved about this one is that the game board is actually a map, so we could get some of that geography in with it. Um, this is ages eight up, two to four players. And then I got Escape Your House Spy Team. I thought it would be really fun to have some sort of escape thing for spy and this was spy team. So that seemed like a win. Um, it says three to six players and ages eight up. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm excited to do it. Emily's been wanting to do an escape room, but a lot of the ones around us won't let her do one until she's at least 12, which she's not yet. So I'm hoping this will pacify her until then. And then I also grabbed two kind of reference books for her. I don't know if we'll read them entirely or if we'll just reference them throughout the study, but I have this one, which is How to Be a Spy. And then this one, which is Top Secret, The Book of Spies and Agents. They're by the same company. And they had really, really pretty illustrations and they just looked like a lot of fun. So like I said, those are reference. Now, none of this is required for Spy Academy. Like I said, that is an all encompassing unit study, um, but these are all recommended suggested resources if you want more to enrich that study. 
Okay, the last thing that I have for the spy study is this spy secret agent gadget bag, if you will. That was Emily's number one request when she found out we were gonna be doing spy school was that she got some sort of secret agent spy bag. So I just got her a simple black um, sling bag and then decided to fill it with some simple spy gadgets. The first one being a walkie talkie. Now I actually got a set of three walkie talkies because she's gonna be doing this study with some friends and I wanted to make sure they could all talk to each other. I also got her spy glasses. Now these look like regular sunglasses from the front. When you put them on, half are sunglasses and half are mirror, so you can actually see behind you. So like here I can see the Spy Academy book behind me, and here I can see that basket full of books behind me. So you can secretly spy. I got her a set of stick-on mustaches because I thought that would be fun for when going undercover. I also grabbed her a top secret notebook to write in and one of those invisible pens with the black light revealing lights. Um, even though we will be studying a lot of different ways to make invisible messages in Spy Academy, that's part of the spy science. This way she can do it um, without having to have a lot of materials because she only needs two things. I grabbed her a lanyard because part of the unit study is coming up with code names and making um, secret agent badges. So that way she'll have somewhere to put her badge. And then I also grabbed her a Spy X voice disguiser and a Spy X motion detecting alarm. We haven't used these yet, so I have no reviews on them, but it seemed like really fun gadgets and that was one of her requests. The last thing I picked up for Spy School was this Top Trumps 007 Trivia. We really enjoy playing games over dinner, like trivia and guessing games, and I thought this would mean that we could also watch all the 007 movies. One of my favorite things about this particular Top Trumps Trivia is that on the card, it specifically says which movie each question is from. That way, we don't have to wait to play the game until we've watched all the movies. We can just watch one and only ask the questions from that specific movie. And then as we watch more movies, add in more questions. This says that it is 500 questions and ages 12 plus, but I'm gonna assume that the age on this is just because of the content in the movies and not the game itself. The rest of the things that I have for the summer haul are for the second part of our summer, which is when we will be studying Summer Olympics. And that is the four Who Was books that go along in the summer bundle. I needed these to be able to write those studies and then to do them ourselves. So we have What Are the Summer Olympics? Who Was Jesse Owens? Who Are Venus and Serena Williams? Who is Michael Phelps? And then for Emily to read independently, I got her the Kid Olympian Summer Edition, True Tales of Childhood from Champions and Game Changers. I liked that this included some of the famous athletes we would be studying, like Michael Phelps and Serena Williams, but it also included athletes like Simone Biles and Usain Bolt that we wouldn't be studying, so it would expose her to even more. And it's just a fun read with some cute little pictures. So I think it is perfect for her. And then I only grabbed one game for now because the Summer Olympics actually start on her birthday. So I'm undecided how deep we're gonna dive into Summer Olympics and whether or not she'll get additional resources as birthday gifts. So the only one I got for now because I knew we would wanna play it is the Guess in 10 Sports. I really thought we already had this, but I couldn't find it, and I knew for sure I wanted to have it, so I grabbed another copy. Um, we like to play these a lot over dinner as a family, so that is what we will do. My plan is basically to have the 007 Top Trumps for the spy portion of our summer, and then the Guess and 10 Sports for the 
Olympic portion of our summer. So there you have it. That is everything that I purchased for our summer homeschool with the intention of having a super fun yet also educational summer.